but it is you who are the villains. Hey, at least you died thinking you were still the good guy. Your dad should have been a little bit tougher. Good job is the most dangerous thing in the English language. You are evidence of that. But Not my tempo of all three. As man and city to both. I kept the people safe. They respected me. Worship me. You literally fade fed them your friends to mind control them. Of course they respected and worshipped you. How can this be? I should be the one looking down at you. Dude, even Alfie's embarrassed. I've watched that guy have more absurd tangents than any creature in the face of the earth, and he's like, ugh. Help me. Damn you! I am your god! Ugh. Hasta luego, Vothry. Give me your ether, please. Okay, I feel like I'm about to have like an Aether heart attack here. I feel like this is about to be real bad. The last one, it, it made like a crystal cracking sound when it hit my body. We have all of the Aether of a like nuclear attack on the first inside of us. Enough enough ether to cause the calamity inside of my tiny little Lollafell body. What a good idea. Thank you so much, Crystal Exarch. You really fucking put it together. This is a bigger oopsie than the nine that you had be before you pulled me in. That's Chernobyl. That's Rich Campbell. Uh-oh. Look. The sky. Alfie's cringing more than the average Twitch viewer at 8 a.m. when NMP goes live. Darkness has returned to the first. That's good. Of course, it's nighttime. It has been every single time. And I'm dead. Wait. What? Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, raised to the ground. Okay, that's the former mayor. Who that? Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. Man, I thought Vothry was annoying. This guy sucked too. Maybe, uh, maybe politicians are the problem. Why are you guys saying it's rich, Omegalol? What? Wait, what? How is that me? Wait, what? <laughs> to be subjected to such deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more. Were you not surrounded by fools? Is that Emmett? Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One that will ensure the longevity of your reign. Dude, we've never seen him all dressed up, man. He cleans up nice, huh? But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. 
by giving its power to the babe within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being, a king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. Dude, where does one find them, a lady wife? A real... <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting... <laughs> How many wives does this guy have? Yeah, the lady wife. That one over there. Uh, okay, so... Um, Emmett is going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've heard of this uh, this video before. Okay, okay. Tough beans, but hey, we'll do anything for power. Um, so... Summoning the bull, Emmett... He has sown all of the chaos, all of the seeds for chaos, if you will. Emmett has sown all of the seeds of chaos that we have had in everything. He made Algin Empire. He made the Garlean Empire. And now here, he also made the number one Yulmore government. He has made every successful government which has strewn chaos. This is basically the Prat to Rose Rosemary's baby. <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vortri, they behave as docile pets. With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. He's dead. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Look, it's you, Rich. He doesn't even look like me. He has facial hair here. I don't. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. Fat and complacent? Sounds like his son, too. You killed his pet cat. I'm a monster. Okay, what's gonna happen? What's gonna fucking happen? Are you alright? Say something! Ouch! Twelve for Fend. He cannot contain the light. He's beginning to turn. Orange, if you've ought up your sleeve, now is the time. Dude, he's not wearing any sleeves. We're fucked. It's changing back. Oh my god, we've become what we've hunted. Combined power of every light warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. And so I shall relieve you of it. <sighs> Carry my load, brother. There's naught else we can do. It's time to see who this actually is. Exarch, what are you doing? Channel this profusion of power to the Crystal Tower and use it to travel to other worlds. As I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence. Who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew? 
not I. And thus, thus did I use you. No, no, I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. Damn you! We won't let you do with him as you please. Do not interfere! Please, I beseech you all, let him go! You knew of this, Uriange. Tis all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. If anybody would know that, that'd be her. She live streams more than me. The Exarch will never live to see another world. As he knows only too well. Then, what does he mean to do? He's gonna die. He means to take the light with him into the rift. Where he will die. From the beginning, he intended to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrent. Throw wide the gates. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter, I concede. Yet your tale will continue and my role in it will scarcely be remembered. How the fuck are we gonna get everybody else home? Maybe he can use a little bit of his light to get people back home on his way to the void where he can die? Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free. Safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Are you me? I was Graha! I was right from the very beginning! You motherfuckers! Oh my god! I actually fucking... You little pieces of shit! Oh my... God, no, but Grahati has said, oh my god. Call him by his name. You guys are too fucking good. I love you all so fucking much. Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. Fare you well, my friend, my inspiration. Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first.
You know what's crazy that I didn't even think about? Up to now? Emmett fucking invented Graha. Like I, I like the the Graha thing the Graha thing was like like eat the kind of like I called it honestly the reason that I called it at the beginning wasn't even because of the Crystal Tower. His mouth, like I just could tell it was Graha. And then like everything with CT, you know, really reinforced it with all the Algon shit. And it was just like, you know, everybody like Dude, you, Graha was just that character. You knew he had to. He, there's just everybody loves Graha. But I, because you guys actually did such a good job making me believe it wasn't Graha, you're like, well, where's his tail? And where are his ears? If he's a cute little kitty boy, that I genuinely stopped thinking about. And I didn't think about the kid. You guys fucking got me again. You guys have gotten me every single fucking time. Like, you are fucking insane. Like, I don't know how you do it without spoiling me. Like, I, actually, best fucking community in the fucking world. Holy fucking shit. Like, you genuinely did not spoil me. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to everybody in this fucking community. Without spoiling me, but fucking getting me. Like, you guys got me. Holy fuck. You're like, well, where's the tail? Like, where is the fucking tail? Where, dude, he's got his tail tucked up his waistband. And trust me, I've been doing that my whole life. Nobody pulls it off that well. What technique this kitty cat has. The Algon technology at his disposal. My goodness. But because of the diversion and the bait and switches that you guys pulled on me, I didn't think about the connection between Emmett creating the Algon Empire and everything with CT and him being here. Now, this does beg the question, how did Graha get to the first? Did he... As he traveled around with the Algon technology from CT, was he able to start jumping from dimensions and that's how he moved it here to the first in the first place? And then he decided to save this world to save the source. There are a lot of interesting things that come up also, like what time period he actually moved Crystal Tower. Maybe the Crystal Tower is more transcendent across all of the... So many questions, we're going to get some answers. Graha better not be dead. Emmett, I was on your side for a long time. I thought, dude, I was going to be wearing like just a red hat that, that, that said like, make the rejoining great again or some shit but now at this point you're a bad guy i'm a good guy the rejoining fucking sucks you're tempered by zodriac you can suck my fucking cock i'm resurrecting my cat boy i'm taking him back to the fc and i'm gonna just see how prehensile that tale really fucking is fuck you fuck the assians therefore in all likelihood the exarch arrived here with the tower this much i had surmised yep. yet i could not discern his grand scheme to think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hearing. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. I hate him now. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. That was my cat boy. You bastard! Yeah, curse at him. You cur! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. Yeah, but where's the where's the where's the light ether? Not my Asian. Okay, it's still mostly me. What a disappointment you turned out to be. Me? I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. Wait, why would you want me to contain the light? But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage. I was part of your plan? Halfway to becoming a monster? I guess you would know what that, that journey looks like considering you're a full one. Creative Vaughn 3, wasn't it? What do you intend to do? <sighs> I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. Our boy Ardbart. 
to start? When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthry. Thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. Should I know who Lord Gr Lord Griff is? I don't know who Lord Griff is. I don't think I'm supposed to know yet. Just Lala Jam. Just Lala Jam. Yeah, it's fine. Nobody did anything wrong, but people were like Lord Griff, Lord Griff Pogos. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I just want to make sure. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't like uh, missing something. All right. Thanks for your meddling. That too has ended in failure. Dude, I'm about to slap the taste out of your mouth. You, he looks like Jack Black with none of the uh, uh, none of the guitar skills. What was your true purpose in approaching us? Johnny Depp. Yeah. Now, who did I mean? Not Jack Black. Jack White. Jesus Christ. That's who I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I like actually couldn't remember his name. By your twelve, boy, have I not Wrong told color. you before that everything I said was the truth? You were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided he could contain and control the light. If not, then he, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartened. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Yeah, then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing light wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away. And I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Well played by Graha. He played well enough to make an Asian sweat. But let's see if we can please this Asian and contain this light and make an Asian clap. Oh god, yeah, I don't think that's happening. That's not that's not the way I wanted to make the Asian sweat. Retain your form and your senses, but you have all <laughs> but become a sin eater. Yeah, man. Look, I can't believe I became a spitter too. Probably the two worst things you become: a spitter and a sin eater, both synonymous with being a quitter. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into Sin Eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. Yeah, I was. I, I really. I doubt the rejoining is the play. Anyway, I, I. I really doubt. I doubt the rejoining is good. I. I don't really like him anymore. He was kind of my. I thought we were. I thought we were friends. It's like when you have like that one friend in fourth grade who's always drinking beer, and you're like, "Yo, this kid's cool." There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Ah, oh, the irony. What Force 3 achieved through bliss, you 
But I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. I really don't see how we get out of this one. What are they gonna do? Give us an action maneuver? Like, what am I gonna do? Click the light out of me? I've been trying for years. It keeps coming back! <laughs> Oh my god, with the Xox. goddamn snap! What a Chad! He's still so cool! I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small <laughs> token for my troubles. He took our cat boy! I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. I pity you. I do. Did you guys know that he could fly? I assumed, but, uh... And now he's a literal cat burglar, too. This guy really does it all. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. But if they kill me, they're just gonna get possessed to bear, too. Seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. And it all becomes too much to bear. See, oh my god. There, you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. Till then, Til then, I bid you I farewell. Bid you farewell. Eater. It was just a dream. Ardbard? Ah, finally. You're confused, and small wonder. Wait, why the fuck did you call me a small wonder? Does he always say that? Did he... Was that a compliment? After you collapsed, Emmett's self vanished. Okay. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Okay. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. Is she dead? Rain's probably fine. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's worse than before. Did we fuck everything up?
It's like this all over. The whole of Norvrant is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. You are boring. Not right now, man. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. I don't care what they think. How do we now save them? Now they're out them? there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. I'm literally the White Light Warden now. What if I just like went into the Crystal Tower and just touched it? If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. I'm literally leaking my light everywhere. Your Vothry 2.0. I am God. I am righteous. Wait, can I summon sexy sin eaters now? Because we, we could maybe wait to fix the problem until at least after the afternoon. Oh, come on, you mu You guys are sick, dude. G damn it, get off of it. <laughs> Stop laughing.